Hey guys, it's Keisha of Coconut Robot, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this simple daisy. Um, lots of snow on the ground here, and so I'm a bit obsessed with everything spring, so I'm kind of on a daisy kick. So this will be one of about four or five videos showing you how to make daisies a few different ways. This is the simplest, and we'll go ahead and get started. So the materials that we're going to use um, for the daisy is first our wool felt, the more quality felt that you have, the better your flowers are going to turn out. This is from Benzie Felt, and I have a link below. This is my favorite shears. It's spring-loaded, um, so you're only pressing it together. And then my favorite detail scissor is the Havel Curved Tip Scissor, and that's how I get my petals uh, cut so quickly. And then I build all my flowers on this 18 gauge floral wire. This is wrapped, but you do not need to get the wrapped kind. Um, you can also make your flowers without any wire. And then I just have a ruler to show you size and my hefty loved glue gun. Let's go ahead and get going. The first thing we're going to do is create the center of our daisy. Um, we'll use this technique in a lot of different flowers, but I'm just cutting a strip that's about one inch wide. Again, that's just to give you reference. Um, you do not need to make it as wide as mine or as narrow. You can kind of see what you like to do and how you want the look of your flower to be. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to do is create that center. And so we're going to run a strip of glue across one edge of the felt. I'm being a little ambitious here to do the whole strip. I would typically divide this up into thirds, um, as you'll see in a minute here. So yeah, I don't recommend doing the whole sheet at one time because typically your hot glue will cool down a bit too much by the time you get that all folded over. But you know what? There are worse things in the world. So now that we've created that strip that we folded in half, you're just going to take one of your scissors. Um, I have a Havel scissor that's not curved. I will also put that link below, but you can use your curved tip too, that's totally fine. Um, and I'm just going to cut little notches. They're about an eighth of an inch apart and probably about an eighth inch that I'm cutting in as well. And you'll just do this um, across the whole strip. So as you can see, I just have all those tiny little notches in the folded side of my uh, felt strip. And we're just going to take that 18 gauge floral wire. And I like to kind of just test it a little bit to see um, how big I want my daisy center or my flower center to be before I trim that to size. Once you know about how much uh, felt you need to make a certain size, um, as I continued making daisies, I went ahead and just cut all my strips in thirds to begin with. So just sizing that out there and chopping it in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of do. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of glue. Um, although I guess do has something to do with flowers, but a little bit of glue on the tip there. And as I roll this around my floral wire, I'm going to angle it ever so slightly, as you can see. That first fold is always the toughest. So I'm angling it down just a little bit, just to give it that domed center of um, just for that center of the daisy. And as I twist it around, I'm going to just add more glue. You can see well from there, just it's slightly, slightly angled. <clears throat> Obviously more angled is going to create more of a dome. And just roll that around. So 
So that's the center of our flower. We'll go ahead and set that aside and now we will cut out our petals. Okay, petal time. So here I have white felt. Obviously you can do whatever color you want. Um, and for this flower, I'm going to cut out strips that are anywhere from um, an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters, even up to two inches. Um, you can really decide how you want your daisy to look, um, how long you want those petals, and how full you want the petals. Again, I want to give you the, the foundation here, and then you can just take it and run with um, just this, these basics, I guess. Um, I don't want to tell you what to do exactly. So here I've cut about three strips varying in size from about an inch and a quarter to an inch and three quarters. Um, and they are not perfect by any means. Uh, so from here we're just going to cut out rectangles, so little strips from our strip. That's my largest strip there. Um, and the strips that I'm going to cut from these uh, strips that I've cut, oh gosh, that was really redundant. The rectangles I'm going to cut from the strips are going to be about an inch in width. So I'm just going to trim uh, those right out of my strip there. And you can see about a half inch in width. And then we'll cut our petals from those rectangles. Okay, so all of my rectangles have been cut, and now I'm going to take my curved Havel scissor, and I'm going to just trim off those corners of the base. I want a nice flat base for my petal. And then we're going to go to the top and to a point, grab, turn it over, um, and then continue. I'm a lefty, so you'll probably do this opposite. Um, but I like to just flip the felt, so I'm allowing the curve of my scissors to kind of do the work for me. And um, full transparency, after I made this one, you'll see at the end, they just felt a little bit too pointy to me. So after the flower was put together, I went um, in again with my Havel scissor and just curved the tips of those daisies ever so slightly. It just wasn't looking how I wanted. So hopefully that helps you um, see that you can continue tweaking your flowers uh, as much as you want, even after they are completely put together, I often go in and trim down petals and um, add little changes here and there. Okay, so anyways, that was kind of a rabbit trail. Let's go ahead and construct our flower. Um, I've got my flower center and uh, my daisy petals. <clears throat> and I'm simply going to add glue below those notches um, because I want that to kind of set out um, above those petals. I'm going to lay that flat, just that tip against there, and bring the petal up. Very, very simple. Again, this is the simplest of the daisies that I'll be making. Um, we'll do some bigger ones. I'll show you how I make the petals look even more natural. Um, and then also I will teach you guys how to do some of the buds that I've been doing. I'm telling you, I'm on a daisy kick. Um, we also have a foot of snow outside, so I guess I'm just... I'm willing the daisies in spring to show up here. <laughs> uh, so just go ahead and keep um, attaching those petals. Um, I typically do one layer uh, side by side, and for some reason I almost always cut the exact amount of petals needed each time. It's a little strange. Or I'll have like one left over. I don't know. Just magic flower making, I guess. Um, and... One thing I love about daisies is I think sometimes there's always a couple petals that are further apart um, than others. So I don't think about it too much. I just attach them. Um, so that first round I just put them right next to each other so they're touching, maybe overlapping the tiniest little bit. Um, let's see, it looks like I might be getting seven on for this first round. And then after I have that first uh, layer of petals, um, I just go ahead and attach another row 
in a staggering them. So um, I just put glue right in between two petals and as you can probably see, I attach another one below. So um, pretty simple. I think the thing that makes the daisies look the neatest is that center. Um, and if people don't realize how simple it is, they think it's, I don't know, really fancy. And now you know, it's really simple. So I just continue um, attaching all the petals and then we'll go ahead and add the green base to the bottom of our daisy. Okay, so I had two extra, three extra. Pretty close though. Not too bad, right? And yeah, so you can see how I went ahead and I just trimmed the tips of those petals. They were just feeling pointy. I'm sure there's other daisies with pointy petals, but whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to just take a small uh, piece of green felt, and uh, it's about an inch. I'm going to cut about um, an inch by inch square. And just curve those corners right off. I'm telling you. All you got to do with these flowers is just make squares and rectangles and cut off the corners. And you can create something and it'll be pretty. I promise. Okay. So simplest way to add that green bottom is I just chop in little cuts anywhere from an eighth to three eighths. Um, in from the outside there. Three eighths? No, sorry. An eighth to like maybe a quarter of an inch. Eh. An eighth. Just make little cuts. Okay, and then you're going to make a little center hole, and that's what we're going to put our stem through. So pop that through, and you can just kind of see how that's gonna, going to attach there. We're just going to add glue around the base of our flower, and squish that on there. Um, I either try to do, like I just did here, one in the center, or I just rim um, that outside of the flower before I attach the green. This was a little bit of a rough go. I'm always improving my processes every flower I make. you got to learn from our mistakes, right? Again, does not have to be perfect by any means. But attach that little green stem and you've got yourself your first daisy. As I mentioned before, I had three petals left over. Um, this daisy ended up being about three inches in diameter and my petals were about an inch and a half long. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped. I love to see your photos of your completed flowers. Um, be sure to comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. More tutorials to come. Stay tuned.